Hi, welcome to ClinLearn's Medical Writing e-Learning Series. In this video, we will discuss the major regulatory guidelines that drive clinical research globally. Most importantly, we will discuss the search strategy that medical writers can employ for understanding the regulatory requirements. Let's get started. As you are aware, pharmaceutical industry is a regulated industry. What do we mean by this? This means, each and every step in drug development process is regulated. The health authorities provide regulatory guidelines from discovery of a molecule to getting the drugs to market. Further, there are also regulations to keep the medicinal products in market. We have seen in our previous videos about the stages in drug development life cycle. There is a preclinical stage, there is a clinical trial stage, and post approval stage. If you would like to understand further on this topic, please have a look at our previous videos on ClinLearn's YouTube channel. In essence, there are lots of regulations and guidelines. In the following slides, we will try to navigate through these complex regulatory landscape to identify the ones relevant for medical writing. Broadly, the regulatory guidelines can be categorized based on products, development stage of the medicinal product, the type of regulatory document, and the department from which the regulatory guideline originates. These categorizations are not mutually exclusive. These can be considered hierarchical and can be the subsets of each other. In this video we will try to understand these guidelines with product type as the reference. As a medical writer, before embarking on a project, it is imperative that you understand the regulatory requirements for building these documents. For example, the product specific guidelines can be related to different development stages, can be issued by a specific department in the health authority, and there can be multiple document types. Medicinal products can be of different types. Drugs, biologics, medical devices, vaccines and combination of any of these products. There are differences in the procedures and methods for conducting clinical research for each of these products. For example, the endpoints for drugs in a clinical trial are related to the efficacy in curing a disease. However, for a vaccine, which is meant to prevent a disease, rather than cure, the endpoints in a clinical trial are related to immunogenicity. Let's assume you have a medical writing project on a vaccine. To be specific, you will have to develop documents for marketing approval. How will you start your preparation for this project? Let's list them down. What are the general regulatory requirements? What data is required? What is the format of documents? What are the general principles for development of vaccines? How do I know if a vaccine works? What do regulators look for in the document? There could be these, or other questions. At this point, I would recommend, to pause the video here, and list down, any other questions, you may have. How do we find answers to these questions? A medical writer can take a four-step approach. Step 1, should be to find the right source. Let's assume you are writing the documents to be submitted for US FDA. So US FDA, website is the right source. Step 2, provide right search criteria. In this case, as we are looking for vaccine-related guidance, we will search for product type vaccine. A vast list of guidance documents may be retrieved. The list may include guidelines applicable to different phases of the drug development life cycle. Step 4. As a medical writer you may have to curate the list and identify the most appropriate ones. This is the list of guidance documents retrieved from the search performed for vaccines on US FDA website. As not all of these are relevant, the medical writer has to filter out only the relevant ones. From the list on the screen, there are five guidance documents 
that may be of relevance to medical writers. We will look at each of these in the following slides. This guideline is, regarding submitting study data sets, from the clinical trials. For a medical writer, it is important to know, which are the important data sets, that regulators will review in detail. The second guideline is, regarding the development of vaccines, against global infectious disease. This guideline provides, the context for the medical writer, as to how the medical writing deliverables, would contribute to the marketing authorization application. This guidance is, specific to therapeutic cancer vaccines. The guidance provides, details on the patient population, monitoring immune response, biomarkers, and efficacy assessment, disease progression etc. These two guidelines are related to influenza vaccines. These documents provide, immunogenicity and safety endpoints, and details on the thresholds, that a vaccine should achieve. For the medical writer this information is extremely useful. This background information helps in building the clinical study protocol, in interpretation of study results, and in preparing the summary of results. Before embarking on a medical writing project, you have to remember, that you are writing for a unique group of audience, who are experts in the field. As a medical writer, you may not have enough insight on the topic. You will have to develop, your strategies, to ensure that the documents you develop, are of high standards, and take your audience expertise into account. In other words, you need to develop targeted documents. Employing the strategy explained in this video, will give you a quick insight on the topics and will be extremely helpful in developing high quality documents. We hope you find this video helpful. For more such resources, please subscribe to ClinLearn's YouTube channel. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.